Alright, now where do we have to go? Well, it looks like there's only one way to go. Although, on the map here, it looks like... If you can see my mouse. Can you see my mouse? You can see my mouse. There looks like there's a town down here somewhere. And a town down here. And a little nipple up there. <laughs> Never forget the nipple. <clears throat> Whoop. Oh no! Armadillos! Focus. Cover. I gotta move Rydia into the back row. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Or. Mm, no. Bloop. There we go. I forgot that I can, I can still do that. Yeah. So creatures in the back row or any, uh, if, if my party is in the back row, they are further away from combat. So they take less damage. So it's the place you want to put your healers, your, your magic users, your people that are not damaged sponges. And then the front row, it's, I think they also have priority for being attacked if they're in the front row. But they're the ones that are going to take more damage. So you want the ones that are physical attackers. Because uh, you also do less physical damage from the back row, and you have a lower percentage chance of hitting your target. Oh, that's not the way to go. I don't feel like it's been as effective in these early games, but definitely in Final Fantasy V and VI and IX, I felt that a lot. Because you... You take a lot more damage... <laughs> if you're not in the back row in some of those later games that I've played. Do, 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 do. Bio. Oh, shit. All right. Getting close. No? No. Not getting close at all. Kick. You're talking about Final Fantasy XIV, right? <laughs> I mean, to an extent, there is, there is some application to the idea of front row and back row, even in Final Fantasy XIV, because you have your tanks and your physical DPS that get up close and personal in order to actually do damage. And then you have your healers and your magic users that stand back and can deal damage from afar. And the Dragoon also falls into that, where I can jump in and jump back. So there may not be a physical representation of this is front row and back row, but the I think the, the way that you set up yourself when you're fighting a boss during a raid does still have some front row, back row implication that you could, you could consider as applied. Wow, there's a lot of enemies on my screen right now. Let me eat you all alive. Don't you fucking turn me to stone. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs>
Well, I, I mean, you're gonna have to forgive me. I've never played a healer class. I didn't know shove head up butt was a healer move. <laughs> Please tell me I can still do he okay, I can still use a tent right now, which I desperately need. Not damage fall off, but at uh what I would say is the the equivalent there is you have to be within a certain range in order to do certain physical attacks versus others <clears throat> so yeah a healer could be in the front row in the same way that i could put my white mage and my summoner in the front row but they're going to be closer to the boss and so they're going to get hit more i guess that's where the difference ends is there's no change in how much damage is dealt but then you couldn't really do that in a in an mmo i don't think so But yeah, I, I agree that bosses don't have damage fall off in, in Final Fantasy XIV, but there's some equivalency. Okay. Can I save again now? I think I shall. There we go. Tower of Babel. There's a bunch of chests in here. Fiery hounds! I think we've been here before. Do 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 Oh my gosh, Rydia, you are a beast. Beast mode. High potion. Three of them. Well, let's Shiva it up again. Okay, can you all not attack Cecil? Cecil is wearing fire armor and it's going to get burned alive in there. Cool off. Just the one other chest there, yeah? Yeah. Ether. Could be useful. No! Not a back attack! Oh shit! Rydia! Quick, fix us. Beautiful. What are we doing in this room? Oh no, it's trial by fire. A green beret? What's he doing here? <clears throat> fiery hounds and fiery knights. Protect me. Protect me, Cone! I wish I had a... Wait, I do have a replacement sword for Cecil. 
<clears throat> might be a good idea to switch since the fire armor and the fire sword are not super useful against the fiery armor of the enemy. in this door a, a, a wee in them chest not no no you can turn me to stone you fuckers I don't want it oh fuck security eye kick it doom 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 <laughs> oh shit it did one Chimera! Oh, hell, that actually does quite a bit. <laughs> Oh no, I healed it! Nobody use any physical attacks, or any magical attacks, please. Don't kill us. Whip it. Whip it real good. Good, the Chimera has finished. Ice brand, that's what I was looking for. It's a miracle. Oh fuck. Uh time to try my new weapon. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> Where's my there it is. I gotta switch back to uh active time mode. <clears throat> Unless I run into another another fight that is brutal, I think it's fine to be in active mode instead of wait mode again. Well, that's the way to go, I think. This is probably a safe room? Nope. Fuck! Should've healed first. Focus. Oh, okay. That's just rude. Somebody tells me the stone golem's gonna have a lot of defense. Uh, maybe not so much. Ooh. Ice lance. Is that better? Not, not actually. No. Can I use two? No. <laughs> Worth a shot. With a shot. Run. I forgot to heal again. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> so bad at remembering I need to heal. You need one of those. You need... You're good now. Uh, you need one of those. And you need one of those. And I think you're fine. The Cat Claw. What does the cat claw do? May put enemies to sleep. So I have a chance to confuse or put them to sleep. Where are we going? There's two doors. I assume we're going to the far one for the actual thing we need to do. Stop coming from behind! Or hit those two, that's fine. Hmm. 
Near the potion. What's in here? Couple chests. A killer bow? That's gotta be better, right? Where the fuck was I going? I should probably start using those. I'm just hoarding. <laughs> yeah, like your brain first wants to go like, oh yeah, of course, cats and sleep. That makes perfect sense. And then you go, actually, now that I'm saying it, <laughs> it actually does. these lizards uh no up we er fine just kill that thing in the back shiva ooh ridia is almost out of uh magic need to make sure i fix that Although, yeah, that's the end of that. Um, I got... When the fuck did I get so many ether? I don't remember. I didn't buy any ether. I don't think I've been given the opportunity to do that yet. You wish they would add more summons... I thought they were doing that. I thought they were adding more summons for the summoners. Did that... Was that a dream? Or did that just... Was that false? <laughs> oh. Of course that would happen. Oh, they made adjustments to them. Okay. Yeah, Summoner in, in any other Final Fantasy game, Summoner is one of my favorite job classes because they get to s summon these cool, epic beasts. And, yeah, it just... <laughs> I mean, even being able to summon the Primal for a moment is kind of cool. The way that you're, uh, uh, the way that I'm imagining it based off what you said is it's kind of, it kind of sounds like how they ended up doing summons in Final Fantasy 12 and 13 where you don't just have the ability to summon any of them. You have to like specifically get to a point Ugh. Go away, I'm gonna have to fight monsters anyways. Another security eye. Um, I don't even remember what I was trying to say. <laughs> yeah, in Final Fantasy 12 and Final Fantasy 13, there were limited summons and you you had to work towards them and then once one person had them, that was it. Uh, for Final Fantasy 13, each character had just their own summon that they could only use that one. It kind of changed the dynamic to something that I wasn't as, as interested in. Not to mention, I never found the summons in Final Fantasy XII to be all that useful. Like, uh, at least in the original, when you used a summon, the rest of your party disappeared and you just had you and the summon. So it, it just immediately was like, um, this doesn't feel as good. This feels kind of weak. Weak sauce. 
Final Fantasy 13, all of the summons that you got were like vehicles that you used and became a part of. Yeah, it was weird. I didn't actually get that far either. Good there. Oh, I can actually go down here. Monsters. I am looking forward to seeing what the new Final Fantasy will have to offer, yes. Death to you. Oh, you can summon more. Ah, okay. I wonder if that's farmable. If I'll get more experience if I just keep attacking the thing it summons instead. <laughs> We're gonna have to heal after this fight. <laughs> There's nothing here. I've been lied to. Weird ass layouts of these towers. <clears throat> you know, uh, the, the thing that I do feel about the later the later on final fantasies is is it's become a little bit less fantasy each time and a little bit more sci-fi which i guess is still a genre of fantasy but i kind of wish for more of a return to the 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 high fantasy stuff final fantasy I haven't played 10 or even seen anything at 10, so I can't say what's going on there, but I played, I beat 12, and 12 had the guns, it had a lot more of sci-fi style stuff, these big epic mechanical buildings, which I guess started in 7 maybe. 13 was very high technology based, all of their weapons were like guns and stuff. 15, there's cars and everything. And that's not bad. There's a place for it. I just also like exploring a world that's not a giant mechanical place. And I wonder if the reason for that is that they worry that people aren't interested in it because we live in the age of technology. And that's just not true. I mean, Skyrim is still being bought and it's... 12 years old just because it's high fantasy. <laughs> 12,000 years old, in fact. Uh, Skyrim was actually the first piece of technology ever discovered. I bet you didn't know that. <laughs> they just keep re-releasing it. <laughs> Where the fuck am I? <laughs> what was the other way? These things hit hard. I hit harder. Oh shit! Apparently Hellfire does not hit harder. Yang fucking does. Holy crap. Ooh, Medusa arrow. 
Ah, uh, it's not as powerful, though. How does that make sense? Oh, it only has one attack. The only thing it can do is petrify or not. Okay, there's a save point here. So this is what's going on is... Wait, what's the other way then? <laughs> Go away, security eye. I don't need you. I can quit you whenever I want. a branching path kind of thing that's gonna fuck me up this look like the, the middle here looks like the way it needs to go the door's locked aha shit <laughs> you were right it is an illusion I just saw this middle path and I went, okay, that's clearly the way I need to go, so I better go the other way first. My temptation got the better of me. Alright, well, I guess I'll go back and I will rest... Mm, no, I don't want you turning me to stone. I can do without that. We'll use our tents. Do 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 do. -do. <clears throat> nope. No, uh, maybe. Hey, I thought I got to attack first. Rude. Oh, God. Oh, good. It's just gradual. Yeah, or Kane. You don't want to know what we do in those tents to just defile them entirely. <laughs> yeah, I don't think tents were ever made uh, made with the idea of that you would use them more than once in mind. So. Cecil, why did you do so little damage there? Hey, I just remembered. I picked up an ice shield and I never equipped it. What the fuck? Did we just come here to push a button? Dr. Lugie. Have a safe trip, Master Rubicant. Do not worry about me. Eblin has already been decimated along with its ninjas. Take care of things until I return. Eblin had ninjas? Why are you dancing? Oh. <laughs> Kulpas and Rubicons are gone. I'm in charge now. 
was with him. Shh. Who's there? Sleezel, how did you get up here? Got you at a bad time, eh? But the pity Rubicant isn't around to protect you. How dare you disrespect me, fool! I may not be an elemental lord, but I, Dr. Lugi, am the brains of Gopez's operation. On my honor, I will protect this tower. That's enough. I've heard enough out of you. My creation will shut you up soon enough. Grrr. Yow! You big off! Off of there! Beat them up, not me! Grrr. Show no mercy! This is a very weird fight. <laughs> Do -do -do -boo -boo. <laughs> Goodbye, Doctor. Will Barnabas still tack on his own? This is the question. Didn't matter. <laughs> Rosa knows Karaga now. Hell to the yes. God damn you, show you. I'll show you what I'm feared. Ah, the second phase. Dr. Lugie. No more games. Sleeping gas. I'll show you why, why I'm feared. Bitch. I'm sorry, what? Oh. Dr. Lugie's a bug. I think I picked the right voice for him then. You trying to put that, that to sleep which is already asleep? Oh, good. Now we're all fucking poisoned. Hey, Dr. Lugie, are you weak to fire? Why can I not focus if I'm... Oh, I can't focus if I'm poisoned. Ah. That's interesting. I think I'm gonna pray. Oh shit, Cecil's dead. And I need an elixir. Light. No, don't put me to sleep! Ah, balls. What was that? I can't focus again. Shit. Where the hell's that unicorn horn? There it is. <clears throat> Wait, did it not work? I thought it was supposed to do everything. Ugh, I'm not paying attention. What does Panacea do? I don't even know.
Stop putting my white mage to sleep. Oh, Dr. Lugi. Need to Asuna Rosa so that she can help out of here again. Never mind. <laughs> it's a little bit high. It gets a little bit high strung when you're in the middle of combat when a creature attacks very frequently and you have active mode on. Scrolling through menus of spells is not ideal. But it's not impossible. Ugh, you're too late. The Tower of Babel connects the Underworld and the Overworld, and Rubicon has already taken all the crystals to the surface. The dwarves will be annihilated with my cannons. Victory is mine. Mwahahahaha. <laughs> 